Hello, welcome to my channel, Oaks & Company. I'm Rachel Oaks. I'm going to show you how to make some cheap, easy, and affordable holiday cookies. I know, um, you know, during the holiday season, we're constantly giving out gifts of baked goods and things like that. And this is something that you can do that is very affordable and you can add anything to it. I do a chocolate-based cookie. I add white morsels. Sometimes I add caramel and pecans. Um, today we're going to be doing peppermint and white morsels with our chocolate cookies to make them holiday. And they taste yummy. They're very moist and chewy. So let's get to it. And also, if you like this video, make sure that you hit the like button down below. It's the little bell. Also, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I would really love to have you. Let's get started. Okay. So... Here are our ingredients for today. I have three chocolate cake mixes. It doesn't matter what kind of a chocolate cake mix you have. These are just Betty Crocker. I've got chocolate fudge, milk chocolate, and milk chocolate. And I've got three eggs, some white chocolate morsels, um, three sticks of butter, and two candy canes. And this is how we're going to make some yummy yummy cookies. Okay, so the recipe is one cake mix. I need a mixing bowl. One cake mix, one stick of butter, and one egg. And this makes some of the, like the best yummy cookies you have ever had. So, um, you can't get much cheaper than that. A cake mix is like, what, a buck twenty? And then you can buy the butter for maybe two bucks and a dozen eggs. So, you can really afford to give out a yummy Christmas baked good with this recipe. So we're going to start out with our cake mix. I should totally have my scissors in the kitchen. However, they're in another room because... We are wrapping gifts also, so I need to I need to get my scissors back in the kitchen. And then an egg. One egg. And um I like to put my butter in this small bowl. And just go ahead and melt it for about 30 seconds. It's This is a very thick batter. So if you melt the butter, it's just a lot easier to stir and put all together. So we're going to put that in the microwave really quickly. Get my towel. So now that we've got our melted butter, we're just going to pour it in. It just comes up kind of looking like this. We're going to take the mixer. We're going to start mixing it all together. When everything is white, glimmering still white, and stillness fills the night, it's Christmas, a winter wonderland, a snowball in each hand. Take me away, Christmas Day. There's joy in the air, family's near. We give thanks for this past year. Oh, nothing compares to the love that we share. Oh, what a bliss. A green ray delight with glimmering silver white. You dazzle us all from big to small. Warm laughter and white smiles, my presents stacked in pipes. 
Take me away Christmas Day Smiles, my presents stacked in pies. Take me away, Christmas Day. Take me away, Christmas Day. Okay, so that's what they look like, and then we're gonna put them in the oven. I set the oven at 350. Okay, so while those cookies are baking, I thought we'd go ahead, because we're going to add peppermint to the, um, to the cookies to make them peppermint, chocolate peppermint cookies. I think it'll be really yummy. So what we're going to do is I went to the Dollar General and I bought two just called Spangler um, peppermint sticks. They were 50 cents each, so you can't get it a topping any cheaper probably. And... So we're gonna open these up. As you can see, it's a whole stick. We're gonna go ahead and just break it. I'm gonna see if my paper chest thing will work on this. I don't know if it will. If it won't, we'll just stick it in a Ziploc bag. But I think it might. Yeah, look here. Got a peppermint caught inside of it. That's hilarious. Okay. So I'm no Rachel Ray. I'm more like the Dolly Pardon of chicken. If you couldn't tell by my voice. Ha ha. Everybody makes fun of my accent. And I'm from Arkansas. So a lot of people here don't talk as country as I do. And I don't know why I talk so country. But I guess that's just the voice that the Lord blessed me with. So, just call me the Dolly Partner kicking. We're probably going to do these up just a little bit finer, but I just kind of wanted to get it kind of started here. Like some of these chunks need to be just a To go on top of a cookie, it would need to be a lot finer. Uh, if you don't have one of these, these are amazing. Pampered Chef. My friend, Rachel Varnell, she sells Pampered Chef. I usually get all my Pampered Chef from her. Shout out to Rachel Varnell. You can find her on Facebook. So we're going to lay them out and give them heck. Kind of fun. If you got any aggression, this is now is the time to get it out. So we're just going to put this in a little bowl. 
So I'll uh, have it handy. We're going to check on the cookies. So, so far we've only done 150 cent peppermint stick to go on the top. And it ended up looking like this. And uh, I think it'll be really cute on top of the cookies. So, I'll put it on there once it comes out. I don't even know how many minutes to cook these cookies. I think they've been in there probably six minutes. My thing when I cook, I'm a terrible... I don't follow recipes. I cook until it tastes good or until it's the consistency I like. So I would say so far it's been in there about six minutes. So probably 10 minutes on the cookies. Because you want to take them out like right before they're done. Kind of plop them down. Let them settle. Add your peppermint. So we'll see. I just throw an old pot holder down on the uh, countertop. And this is what they look like when they come out of the oven. So we're going to go ahead and sprinkle these with some pretty peppermint. I'm just going to put some wax paper up here. We're just going to plop the cookies up there to cool. See how beautiful of a cookie they make? that we can go ahead and put them see how chewy those are oh my we can go ahead and put these in bags and I just bought these like um, treat bags at um, Walmart they were like a buck 88 think about this you might want to tear these apart ahead of time just because they're kind of boogery I don't know if boogery is a word in Arkansas I bet it is boogery <laughs> oh my goodness okay And they're just little twisty ties, so there you have like a great little gift you can hand someone. You can also like tie a pretty Christmas ribbon around it too. Tie cup bows. It doesn't have to be anything just too fancy, but it just shows that you put a little personal touch on it. dozen but I just wanted to show you like what they look like when you get done so thank you for watching as we made my cheap holiday cookies 
I love to do things on a dime, and this is just one thing that I showed you that I normally do every holiday. And usually I make these when I have company too. I think I've said that before, but it's just true. Everybody loves these cookies. Um, if you like this video, make sure that you hit the like button down below, the little bell, and the subscribe. I would love to have you as a subscriber. Until then, Merry Christmas.